Okay, we are back and we are going to add images, markers, and attachments. So, here's our mind map and this is where we left off. And I've cre already created these for us so we don't have to type them out. And we're going to add an image, then we're going to add a marker on this line, then we're going to add an attachment to this one. So, let's do it. First thing we want to do is click on adding images. It's what I named it. You can name it whatever you want and you're going to right click and then you're going to insert and right over here you want to insert image from file okay we're not gonna mess with the web in the gallery because we're just not going to do it and so that's what we want right there from file then we'll choose our file Ooh, that's gonna be big let's see how big that is wow okay that's cool we'll keep it <laughs> you guys like it let me zoom out some alright look at that so now we have our image here and it says right here that's our image right and then you can there's some properties over here you can mess around with you can change the width and height that's cool so and you can even drag these handles if it's too big for you All right, drag it down there you go check that out let's zoom back in a little bit so you guys can see it yeah there we go alright now let's add markers now to add markers you're not going to right click right over here on markers is where you can choose your markers so you can add marker one or you can change it see now it has two markers recently used it shows you right here what you've used you just change them out and that's how you add markers pretty cool you have all these telephone uh oh there we go oh so this is what happens right for each section if you keep clicking it will reverse them oh that's cool I, this is my first time playing around with it like this this is actually a big test for me right now but you get the idea alright that's how you add markers and they represent something right so if you click on one of these markers you can say you can change it here like it pretty much shows you what it means like near complete you know completed and all that good stuff alright now for adding attachments this one we're going to right click come on right click and then insert and then we want to choose attachment then we choose and this might look familiar right but I don't want to keep that file there um, when before we did this when we added links we just linked to the file remember we did the same process now when I'm adding this file right now when I send it if I'm sharing it with someone who's using XMind as well with my team right then they're gonna get it and they'll be able to open it so it's actually like an attachment like an email if you send an email attachment so that's pretty cool so we'll grab that one right there this is the raw um, word file that you guys are gonna get with the course here that uh, I created the PDF on so let me go ahead and click open I know I kind of took long on that. I don't, I don't know why, but I just felt the need to explain it to you. There we go. So now there it is. Okay. Now when you click on it, it opens just like that. And here is the ebook right here. But this is, like I said, this is the uh, word, uh, the word, whatever. <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. But what I am going to say now is that this is the end of this video. We have just finished adding markers. So when we come back, we need to go back to our reference point. And we're going to do some node changing right here, some structures right here. We're going to mess around and create some funky stuff. Okay? So I'll see you in the next video.